We've actually got some big news in regard to the Marvel's Wolverine game from Insomniac and we'll actually start with the concerning news before we get on to the exciting news. So from Gamefile.news, they have an inside scoop which reports that Sony's PlayStation's Wolverine creative director is now leading Xbox's Perfect Dark game and the Ratchet and Clank leads now oversee the Wolverine game. The scoop reads Brian Horton who is publicly named as a creative director of Sony's Insomniac's upcoming Marvel's Wolverine PS5 game game in 2021 has been off the project since the summer, two sources familiar with the matter told Gamefile. The game is now being helmed by creative director Marcus Smith, a rep for Sony Interactive Entertainment has confirmed to Gamefile. Mike Daly will serve as Wolverine's new game director, Wolverine's previous announced game director Cameron Christian will remain at the studio in a different role, Smith and Daly are a formidable new duo for Wolverine. They previously held creative director and game director roles respectively on Insomniac acclaimed 2021 PS5 release Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. The changes atop the Wolverine development team are the result of creative decisions around the game. The two sources told Gamefile, SIE's rep declined to comment on the reason for the role changes on Wolverine. As for Horton, who previously worked as a creative director on another lauded Insomniac game, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, he has already found a new high-profile gig. He's the new creative director of the Xbox published Perfect Dark, the highly anticipated first-person shooter that is being co-developed by Microsoft's The Initiative and Embracer-owned Crystal Dynamics. Horton will be bringing his wealth of experience to the upcoming reboot of the classic Secret Agent series and Xbox rep confirmed to Gamefile. So this is huge news in regards to Wolverine because it must be so late now in the Wolverine's development cycle and for them to lose their creative director because of creative decisions is a huge deal and we all must be asking asking ourselves why did he leave what was the creative decision that sony didn't agree with or didn't go for that made him call it quits and now work with xbox's perfect dark team in the insomniac leak last year we saw a lot of the story elements and the story moments and the big plot points of the story so now i wonder how much of that will actually make it into the game how much of it would be changed and i'm pretty sure that once the wolverine game comes out after a few months maybe a few years down the line we may find out exactly why Brian Horton left and what those creative decisions were that Sony didn't agree with but it's such a huge development for them to lose their director of the game when it's likely only two years left of the game now that is still a long time because it's rumored that the Wolverine will be coming out in 2026 and we could be getting that Venom game in 2025 but maybe this creative director leaving could lead to even further delays and maybe even pushing the Venom game into 2026 if it is a reality because Insomniac has changed change a lot of things behind the scenes and they've made a lot of new decisions since the leak cancelling the spider-man 2 dlc and i just hope that this rumored venom game isn't cancelled because there are plans for it and i hope it still becomes a reality but we do also have an exciting update on the wolverine game as insider kura cases who we have talked about on this channel before tweeted this in regards to the wolverine game from my little digging it looks like sony is gearing up to show off some new stuff from marvel's wolverine it's hard for me to determine when it'll happen but i'm guessing it'll be this year either at tga the game awards or at some unannounced super secret event so kura case has actually tweeted this on october the 18th and the wolverine game director actually left in the summer so it's likely that sony still have plans to maybe show this game in some capacity at the game awards or perhaps in a playstation showcase early next year and if they are going to be showing the wolverine game soon and if it is this year then i wonder about the existence of the venom game because they would be marketing that first since that was rumored to be coming in 2025 so before marvel's wolverine so if they do go ahead and show marvel's wolverine first then it's possible that we may not even be getting a venom game or the venom game is delayed till after the wolverine game but remember that the wolverine game is being made by a separate team from the spider-man team's game even though they're both under the insomniac banner so even though their games are in the same universe they are separate projects by two separate divisions within insomniac games and plus the venom game is rumored to be the 
size of Miles Morales, but due to the cut DLC planned for Spider-Man 2, perhaps they can use a lot of that within the Venom game now, since there was a full Carnage storyline being planned as the second DLC, which may expand the Venom game to slightly longer than the Miles Morales game, and also may lead to the Venom game getting slightly delayed to add this new content or to fit it in with the original Venom game plan. There's also the possibility that the Marvel's Wolverine game could now be coming in 2025 and the Venom game could be coming in 2026 but that is all just speculation so we are waiting on official word from Insomniac Games and on Sony and perhaps the Game Awards is the next best play to maybe get some information and some new gameplay from the Marvel's Wolverine game and maybe even reveal for the Venom game although I suspect that they would try to hold maybe the Venom game for their own PlayStation showcase next year and kind of have that surprise reveal to say this is the Venom game the Venom game is coming and it's going to be releasing this year in 2025. I think that would just be an amazing reveal, an amazing showcase moment for the 2025 PlayStation Showcase. Since remember that Sony hasn't got any first party games planned till after April 2025 because then we will be getting The Ghost of Yotai, Death Stranding 2, Marathon and hopefully more games announced in the PlayStation Showcase of 2025. We even had insider Jeff Grubb talk about this on his Jeff Grubb's Game Mess podcast where he was discussing Brian Horton leaving Insomniac Games and Jeff Grubb went on to say that I think Wolverine is going to be just fine since Insomniac has the institutional knowledge to do these games really well each and every time. But Jeff Grubb even has confidence that the game is going to be fine and these things happen in the industry all the time and it's just a natural cycle of things. Now I haven't watched the full podcast yet but Game Ranks did say that Jeff Grubb said in this podcast that Sony may even have more to show off Wolverine soon which does correlate with Kurakasis' tweet saying that there could be more Wolverine shown soon maybe even at the Game Awards or at Super Secret Event so it's very likely that we are going to be seeing some official Wolverine gameplay very soon. Now speaking of Wolverine gameplay after watching the Deadpool and Wolverine movie I couldn't help myself but to go on YouTube and watch some of the gameplay which was leaked which showed off a lot of gameplay mechanics of Wolverine from combat and traversal his rage mode and even some suits which I didn't watch the full video but the entire suit list of the Wolverine game has actually been leaked online but of course the Deadpool and Wolverine MCU suit wasn't part of that list but I hope that when Wolverine does finally come out the MCU suit is also part of the game. Now in regard to the combat and gameplay which I've seen the gameplay looks absolutely incredible. It's very much a melee focused game of course as you would expect and I can see when they compare it to God of War it very much is that third person action adventure game which does have a lot of open areas because there was this village area in the gameplay in where Wolverine could climb up walls with his claws and swing off lampposts to get from building to building and I like the fact that they are presenting Wolverine much more animalistically and we even see that in the combat when you press L2 and R2 you can put Wolverine into this rage mode where the screen goes red and he can take extra damage and he can just butcher people. Very similar to Kratos's God of War rage mode which is going to be incredible to perform in the Wolverine game. Now when watching this leaked gameplay not everything was animated, not all the sound effects were in place, you can release and hold the claws at any time and it seems like it's going to be a very linear game so for those who thought it was going to be an open world title it is very much a similar game to god of war where some maps are very open so you can explore and do side quests and some places are going to be a lot more linear and even in the leaked gameplay the voice of the wolverine actor was just this generic placement voice which was very bizarre to see but just from this alpha gameplay it still looks like an incredible game and it is going to be the wolverine game that we've always wanted so i cannot wait to see this game in its full polished state everything done with all the sound effects in place and I also want to mention that there wasn't any gore in these gameplay leaks and I hope it's just because they haven't animated it in because gore effects obviously would take a lot of time but I really want to see how dark this game goes how bloody and gory this game goes and I wonder what rating it would be in the end but that is all the new updates for the Marvel's Wolverine game I will be keeping you up to date with Wolverine on this channel and also my new channel dedicated to superhero games Balboa mania infinity i'll leave the link to that channel in the description and pinned comment section below and i am also working on some more things to announce soon i hope you guys are excited for what's to come with this channel and of course all the video games that you love guys thank you so much for watching peace out god bless go ahead and subscribe to Batball mania infinity right now please let's get to 1000 subscribers over there and i hope to see you in one of my next videos here on Batball mania for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey Give me that crown, get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now.
I'm losing it, the noose it fits, I'm losing shit, it's stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose your gift, oh!